Aloha, welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I'm your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak. We are a ministry that challenges you to abandon yourself to the wild adventure of God's will. We are an apostolate that does the hard thing. We are reaching men, and men can be tough, men can be hard, but we're sharing with them the gospel in a way that they can hear it and understand it. It's a manly ministry for men. We'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. Aloha. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I'm your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak. Today we're going to be talking about uh, physical fitness. And I was thinking about St. Paul. Every, every place you see St. Paul go, other than when he's on a ship, he's walking up and down mountains. He maybe have been on some of those Roman roads, but he didn't need a Fitbit. Just to get your water every day, you probably didn't need a Fitbit to get your 10,000 s- steps in. But he talked about, I buffet my body, you know, like a fighter. He mentioned to Timothy to have a glass of wine every now and then to, for, to help with his digestion. And he, and he challenged Timothy, you know, he said, um, he said to finish the race, you know, to, to fight the good fight, finish the race. So men, if you want to be, if you, you are being called by God, you have a calling uh, in your life, uh, the different people and, and that you have kuleana for, responsibility for, uh, your particular calling may be to be a father, maybe to be a priest, um, but, uh, or maybe to be single. But God has, in order to fulfill your mission, you have to be physically fit. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So we have to to have Dr. John Ertley with us today. We're going to talk about prostate cancer. We're going to talk about, which is something I've just completed radiation on. We're going to be talking about uh, the immune system. We're going to be talking about gut health. So uh, real vital things that each of us need to know to be able to fulfill the mission God has for us. Dr. John Ertley, welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Bear, it's great to be with you today. You know, you and I are so much on the same page. I, I really respect the things that you say. They're, they're well thought out. Uh, and, I, and every time we have you on your show, it makes an impact on not, not just our listeners' lives, but it makes an impact on our lives, too. So we're glad you're back. Glad to be here. Now, where are you right now? Tell everybody where you are. Well, I am in Tempe, Arizona right now, sitting in my office at Solidarity Health Share. And you're, uh, and you're one of the, the founding uh, members of you're one of the, you're one of the people who helped start solidarity health share yeah i'm one of the founding members and i'm the chief medical officer so solidarity is an alternative to insurance where we band together as members to give to one another in times when people are in medical needs so it's like the early church where you come together and you're able to when somebody's suffering the members are committing to giving um to really be able to give to people when they are experiencing those medical needs and really battling the the crisis that's going on through healthcare, being able to build healthy communities. So that's where I love health, fitness, wellness, and the ability to be able to maintain proper health to take care of our bodies for our membership. Um, But at the same time, when we do find ourselves in that medical need that we find cost effective ways to deal with that and give to one another when those are um, those events arise. Well, it's not health insurance, but it's it's it, for a lot of people, it's an alternative to that. What I like about it is, like my two sons, are part of Solidarity, uh, is is because you the the type of things that you do. Like I, I know my insurance, I don't know what all it covers, but but some of the things it covers is probably not uh, uh, consistent with you know Catholic social teaching. And, and more exactly and morals, right. right? Everything, a, everything that we pay for solidarity is is uh, within the the ethical guidelines of the church. I think so I'm actually it's covered. No I'm, I think abortions actually, or no contraceptions or anything. Yeah, like that. so it's it's great both from the fact that it's it's a it, for a lot of people it's a less expensive alternative, but it also um, it also is consistent with Catholic social teaching. I know from for example, my insurance used to cover me in case I got pregnant. <laughs> I don't know why that is, but maybe maybe they saw my 
saw my weight issues. I'm not sure. But listen, I want. No, that's in the affordable. <laughs> that's actually that's the Affordable Care Act. What the Affordable Care yeah. Act did for us. It's yeah. the unaffordable Care Act, as I like to say. <laughs> but it gives us. It mandates the things that we pay for that we would never want to be able to pay for if we actually had the choice. So. But what I want to get in. I want to just really get into this uh, heavy. Uh, people don't know. I, this is probably my first time to make it public that I just went through prostate uh, cancer uh, treatment. I've been diagnosed with it for a couple of years, and finally, uh, we started the radiation treatment last December. It was not an ex- a pleasant experience, but I'm so glad to be on the other side of that now. And uh, my PSA levels, I guess that's a term I had never heard before, dropped almost back down to normal, and they're continuing to descend. So I should be healthy. But, you know, Doc, we're going to be doing this cool thing. I'm going to be speaking in Orange, Texas at the St. Francis Church there uh, in at last week of September. And then you know what we're going to do the next day? We're going to do the gentleman's, the Distinguished Gentleman's Motorcycle Ride, which is held all over the world. You have to wear your James Bond tuxedo. You ride a motorcycle, and it's for prostate cancer. Awesome. So I want to, I want to talk a little bit about that, and then I want to go through, because after the radiation, I knew I had to get my gut healthy. I'm going to talk about that. I know my immune system is shot. I got a staph infection. I still don't know if I've totally fought it. So let's just talk about all those. I want to talk about prostate cancer just as a wake-up call to the men and for the women who love these men. Uh, and then we're going to talk about uh, just that these, these three significant areas of health. So what's the whole deal with, uh, with, the, with prostate for men, for men? What should they watch out for? How do they know they might have an issue? And what, what are their alternatives that they can do to deal with that? Yeah, that's great. How can they prevent... What's so that's where I was going to go with it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So prostate is a very, prostate cancer is so prevalent within the male community. Um, most people, most men will eventually develop prostate cancer. It's usually pretty slow growing, but they develop it later on in their actual lives. Uh, the things that we do to be able to prevent prostate cancer and when we have it and we need to treat it. So it's really important that we're actually, that one, that we screen for it. So once you're 40 years old, man out there, if you're 40 or above, the recommendations is to get a simple blood test. It's called a PSA, prostate specific antigen. Literally, it's just a single blood test. It's easy to do. It's cheap. You can get it literally anywhere. You should be getting it yearly uh, once you're 40 and going beyond. So that's critical. What it does is it measures inflammation in the prostate. Really important though, you mentioned that going bike, you know, going on your Harleys. Okay, just the vibration, the engine of the Harley, you want to be able to avoid going on a a long ride the day before a prostate uh, test because that can actually falsely elevate your PSA. Just a side note. Also, sexual intercourse can also falsely elevate that PSA as well. So if you are getting your blood test done, please get your PSA, but make sure that you avoid sexual intercourse or riding on that Harley the day uh, before. And i got to tell important. you, I, I hadn't had a test in 12 years. You know, I didn't know I was supposed to do it. And uh, and if I had been doing that annually, I probably would have been uh, avoided all that I had to go through with radiation treatment uh, and all that someone had given some a doctor had been giving me uh, testosterone supplements which I'm not even sure I needed and I guess that was like throwing fuel on the fire uh, it is so he, testosterone, never gave me the let me be clear test. testosterone yeah. does not cause prostate cancer right but what it does is when prostate cancer is present testosterone can be the gasoline that's elevating the embers into flames essentially exactly what they told causing me. Yeah. the actual prostate cancer What's interesting, though, as well, and I've dealt with many men with prostate cancer because I also, my private practice is in Veda Medical Center where we treat integrative oncology and cancer patients. So this is my Mm -hmm. wheelhouse here. How do you actually deal with preventing cancer and treating it effectively without causing any side effects? Um, The one thing, though, is that's really important is that testosterone, you want it to stop converting from testosterone into a really aggressive cancer Uh, testosterone called DHT. That's what's causing the male pattern baldness. That's what's linked to, uh, again, irritation and mood issues. That's what's linked to uh, benign high prostate hypertrophy or BPH. That's what's linked to prostate cancer growth. So if you're on testosterone, make sure that you're regularly screening your Which I didn't do for 12 years. And you can yeah. also do a blood test for that DHT to make mm. sure that it doesn't trigger into it. What's interesting there is that many prostate cancer patients, they actually find that when they test that DHT level, 
that DHT level is actually elevated, leading to the thought that that's DHT that's really increasing Interesting. Test, test, or, uh, prostate cancer. Things that you can do to solve it. Um, tomatoes, lycopene is an amazing prostate tonic. Now, when you say um, tomatoes, a, are you talking about pasta? Uh, no, I'm talking about tomatoes. <laughs> Raw tomatoes. It's, that doesn't count. For the form of a tomato sauce, the, it doesn't yeah, count. Yeah, pizza, pizza, pasta, I mean, all the starches and the sugars but in I mean, there. I the just tomatoes, don't like it. But tomatoes but, are well, awesome I mean, for prostate. Well, we, I have this thing I call training food. It's tomato sauce with vegetables and some ground beef. Is the tomato sauce okay, or is it, or do you yeah, need actually raw tomatoes? Yeah, okay, we got tomato kind of, sauce is awesome. Okay, yeah. well, we you actually live on saw, that. see that the sauce, the the stewed tomatoes and the sauce mm. of uh, the tomatoes actually has more lycopene in there, which is the molecule that's really helpful and protective of prostate cancer and great for the prostate. Yeah, so we just want to, we're just kind of giving people a heads up. I know I so since I went off that testosterone regimen, which I don't think I ever really needed, my testosterone has stayed the same. But it was when Beautiful. I was they, when they were t throwing or it stayed healthy. But when they were throwing the testosterone and I had cancer, it was like throwing fuel on the fire. When you are, if you're taking testosterone, I understand if you when you first start the regimen uh, and you take if you were to take that and you have prostate cancer, it'll pop up the PSA right away, and that's one of the indications that you know, oh, I got to deal with this. But uh, this is Bear Wozniak. I'm talking with Dr. John Ertley from Solidarity. We we're talking a little bit about prostate cancer. We're going to talk about uh, the immune system and gut health. I just went through uh, a couple of months of <laughs> extreme radiation. I call it extreme radiation treatment for prostate cancer. I'm on the other side of that. I'm doing really well. But now that I've been through it, I want to warn people and, and encourage men, get your prostate uh, levels checked. And, uh, and if you do things, if you do things uh, in a prudent way, you can make your life a lot easier. You might have to not have to go through what I went through. We'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak adventure. Hey, man, I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Get your free stuff. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that little bell. Don't miss out. Mahalo for your kokua in supporting us. Deep Adventure Ministries is grateful to you, our listeners, for supporting the Bear Wozniak Adventure radio show at deepadventure.com. We would not be able to bring you our radio show with its uniquely powerful and gritty outreach without your help. You can become part of our pack. You can support our ministry by going to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak or by just going to deepadventure.com and clicking on the Patreon link and become a part of our outreach. That's deepadventure.com. Once again, mahalo for your kokua. This is a warning. The Bear Wozniak adventure is dangerous. The radical change Bear challenges you to is not for wimps. Change this station now to a soft rock station before it's too late. You've been warned. Now, here is Bear Wasnick. Aloha and welcome back to the Bear Wasnick Adventure. I'm your adventure guide, Bear Wasnick. I want to encourage the men there. Uh, to go to our website, deepadventure.com, and join Bear's Man Cave. We've had a lot more people joining lately. I think men are feeling more and more isolated, and they know they need brothers to stand with them. The Man Cave is a secret Facebook group, but you can't join by going through Facebook because it's a secret, right? you got to go to deepadventure.com. And what you'll find in, the, in Bear's Man Cave is the Cave of Adullam, like King David with his mighty band of warriors. You know, he had, the, he had great fighting men with him, but they weren't always like that. When he was being chased by King Saul, he hid out in this cave of Adullam, and they said all the misfits, guys who owed money, you know, people that you know just couldn't, weren't, weren't, uh, were running from the law or whatever, they went to the to the to the cave of Adullam, and God formed them into a mighty band of warriors. That's what the man cave it's, is. We're a bunch of misfits that are helping each other, encouraging each other, challenging each other, strengthening each other, and it's so often the men that come that feel the least uh, able that um, most profoundly affect the men in the man cave. So um, 
come and join the Man Cave. And women, you can definitely go to our website, deepadventure.com, and where it says stop, don't go here, push that button, and you can get a membership for your man, too. We're with Dr. John Ertley. He is the, uh, I forget your official title again at Solidarity, but you're the chief medical ma- officer, chief, chief medical officer at, at Solidarity Health Share, which is a great uh, alternative to health insurance. It's a Catholic alternative to health insurance. And we have him as a regular, our, our regular health and fitness person on our show. And we just got through talking about prostate cancer. I just went through prostate cancer radiation treatment. A lot of men get prostate cancer, and the doctor will say, well, that's not going to be the thing that kills you. You'll live with it. It'll be slow growing. But in my case, it was very aggressive. And I went through radiation treatment, and uh, I had no idea uh, what the side effects were going to be. But I'm, I'm glad now, being on the other side of it, Dr. John, that I don't have to go to the bathroom every uh, hour and a half. Half the urgency is gone, but it really just devastated my gut. You know the the radiation treatment, all that I went through. So I know one of the things is I have a, I have vitamins I get from on it that are over there on my desk right now. It's called Gut Health. And my wife uh, three days ago, when we were walking on the beach, she said, "I want to talk about gut health." So uh, let's start. Let's go to that next step because it all has to do with the immune system too. It kind of it kind of goes together. I need to get my gut healthy, and and people out there uh, don't understand the fact that they have to. Uh, they can they can uh, live a regimen that will help them uh, have a healthy gut, and that means a healthier body and a, and a stronger immune system. So, what is gut health? What what do we need to do about about gut health? Yeah, so the tie to the gut and the immune system is literally eighty percent of your immune system surrounds your GI tract. Eighty percent there, and that's why when your gut is healthy, your immune system is healthy. The tie to this is that when your immune system is healthy, you can protect against cancers. Can protect against autoimmune disease you can protect against just regular infections and so when it comes to this ability of maintaining proper health the the, the gut is really key and central role to be able to make sure that you're able to stay healthy and living longevity and having good healthy gut yeah so i, I like to say when it comes to the gut health it's my four r protocol okay so this is where remove replace re-inoculate and repair. So this is this is kind of gut health uh, number one. So the first thing is you want to remove all the things that are causing problems to the gut. Again, alcohol isn't a bad thing when it's in moderation, but when it's overdone, again, it can really be deleterious to the. What health. do you consider um, a moderation, John? A, a consi- drink, I a mean, drink or two so, a week, or. A drink or two a week is fine. I would prefer red wine because it does have, you mentioned the red wine that St. Paul was talking about. Red wine has an incredible molecule in it called resveratrol. Resveratrol is actually such a powerful molecule against cancer, helpful for the actual um, heart. Uh, it's great for prostate cancer as well. Resveratrol is wonderful. You can actually buy it in supplement form instead of actually drinking the wine to be able to get it. But when you drink, making sure that it's a good Again, usually I, I don't advocate for cheap wines because they have a lot of um, excipients in it and a lot of more just things that the body doesn't tolerate well. But a good, nice red wine is wonderful, primarily from regions of Italy, if you prefer. Um, <laughs> well, I love my I love my Cabernet Sauvignon. That's my my <laughs> preference for wine. But that's that's healthier. But again, really, a couple of drinks a week um, mm. is is recommended. You don't want to overdo it. Um, the other things that you want to maybe remove gluten containing grains. I, I just have not seen gluten being effective for individuals health. It causes a lot of inflammation for the actual gut. Um, so this is where making sure that your diet doesn't contain that gluten is helpful. Does, does uh, like a, does sh- like a Mick ultra have gluten? I mean, a beer has gluten in it, right? I, I guess, is that right? Minimal, minimal, minimal okay. amount. Yeah, minimal amount. So you're going to have the wheat beers, the Hefeweizens are going to have a lot more oh, of the gluten okay. Okay. than your hoppy beers as far as that goes. Interesting. The Vulture is going to be better as well. Because um, gluten is just a grain. It's a, it's a protein that's found on wheat. Mm-hmm. And so that's really what gluten is. We can go into talk about gluten another day, but all it really is is a, is a protein that's found on wheat. Okay, well, let me ask you a question. If you, if you like to eat uh, bread, can you use potato bread instead? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. you can use potato bread. There's all, you know, breads with almond flours. There's breads with, uh, again, different grains that don't contain wheat. Non-wheat grains. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. And what is the... And that's what, essentially all gluten-free is. 
Well, what will you experience when you, if, if, if you have an intolerance and you say most people do, what's the, so what, what will you experience so when you, when, when you, I'm looking at gut health? Yeah. So acid reflux, indigestion, gas and bloating. You can also, because your body's going through a lot of the actual, you know, inflammation in the gut that's causing, you know, issues, it's just revving all the time. So can oftentimes cause fatigue, brain fog, um, can would be linked to constipation and, or loose stools. Constipation, so many times I talk to patients that they're saying, ah, I have fine stool, but literally they're, they, they don't go, you know, they don't have a bowel movement for a couple of days. We should always try to have a bowel movement every day. And so that's just the removal of the things that are causing that, those, those irritations. Well, let me, let me talk about issues. that for a second. So um, what about people that, you know, is there a way that you can, like if, if you, you may have blockages in your colon or in your intestines, small intestines that you don't even know about, is there a cleanse that people can go through or you don't recommend that? Or how, if there are, I, I heard once that John Wayne died with 20, 30, 40 pounds of, of just blockage in his intestines. Well, you want, if you have constipation, you want to be able to have fluids, make sure that you're having great hydration and you want to increase your fiber. We'll get to that because that's in my that's in my second R. That's the replace. You okay, want to replace with the good positive things. So, so you reduce the alcohol. Alcohol. My other things: alcohol, maybe gluten, um, food as additives. Remove the processed stuff, the sugars, the refined sugars. Yeah, you should the never processed you should, grains. It's just you garbage. You get just it out of the body. Yeah, we talked about this before. How you probably shouldn't shop in the middle aisles. Just shop around the perimeter. Absolutely. Well, you Absolutely. know, well, let me ask you this. So my wife and I have a little bit of cream in our coffee in the morning and we have uh, I use that stevia type stuff perfect yeah is that's that great. okay what about saccharin yeah, and fun. the other the blue one the pink and the blue one because she likes the pink I, one. I, no I don't like it get, get the equal and the saccharin get it get on out of, of there I don't like it I'd rather have your again erythritol is a sweetener that would work mm -hmm. stevia is a sweetener that would work all of those are going to be how about non coffee in and of itself I love coffee oh I love <laughs> coffee it's wonderful it it, it's antioxidant, you know, and the studies yeah. all on coffee make sure the individuals that are drinking a lot of coffee have reduced risks of cancers. Mm -hmm. They have longevity. They have reduced risk of cardiovascular mm. disease. So it's, there's, there's nothing better than a good coffee. Okay, what but about, make sure that it does, it's not, it's not filled with sugar in your refined sugars. What, That's where you're going to have the big problem. And if you're drinking tea, you should just become an American. I'm, I'm kidding. Well, sure. <laughs> I, I interviewed Peter Urbeck. <laughs> I interviewed Peter Urbeck, and he's not a coffee drinker. He's a tea drinker. Like, oh man, I don't think I can have you on my show. You're not manly enough. You don't yeah. drink coffee. I've read. So you I've want read, to remove? Mm -hmm. Oh, go go ahead. I mean, Sorry, I, I've read that. my Louis L'Amour westerns, and whenever I've read all of his books, 100 books, and every time you about every 30 or 40 pages, there's a hot, somehow hot scalding coffee gets in this story because you know he's drinking one. And now they get the opposite of that when you read uh, Hemingway. There's always a mojito or something going on in his, oh, isn't that the his truth? shows. Yep. But, yep. Uh, but what about uh, um, dairy? So dairy is only a problem if you can't tolerate it. Okay. And, okay. and there's a lot of people that can't. It does actually, you, you notice that dairy is going to increase your constipation or your diarrhea. You'll notice that con dairy increases kind of the al seasonal allergies and you'll feel more phlegmy if, mm. uh, if after eating dairy. Um, you'll also have more acid reflux mm. with dairy. So be careful about the dairy because it can be issues with some people, but other people can tolerate it just fine. So, well, we're not going to dwell on this, Doc. But you know, we talked about last time about the ketogenic regimen, and one of the things that I fall into when I'm when I'm doing uh, low carb is I'll t tend to supplement a little bit more cheese than I should, and I know that's just going to the opposite extreme. I guess if I I need to ha I work really hard to have it in moderation. We're talking with Dr. John Ertley, the Chief Medical Officer of Solidarity Healthshare, which is an alternative to. Uh, to regular insurance, it's it's uh, you can go to Solidarity. What's the website again, Doc? www.solidarityhealthshare.org. This isn't a, a, a yeah. Solidarityhealthshare.org. Yeah, we love Solidarity and what you stand for. I mean, you guys really are courageous in some of the things that you're doing. Uh, but we're, we're here talking more about how to keep your body healthy, how to how to get it healthier. Uh, I, I had mentioned earlier, I had just gone through prostate radiation, and so some of the things that we're talking about here, if you missed the first part of the show, you should go to the Bear Wozniak uh, YouTube channel and uh, find it. Find this under the Bear Wozniak Adventure playlist. Watch the whole show and share it with your with the with the the men that you that you love, other other brothers or or wives, your your husbands and sons. We'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak Adventure. That's right. 
Deep Adventure Ministries is grateful to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for underwriting the Bear Wozniak Adventure on EWTN. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union provides car loans, mortgages, SBA loans, and depository accounts nationwide, as well as 24-hour support. Go to deepadventure.com to find their link or go to NotreDameFCU.com. Mahalo to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for making the Bear Wozniak adventure possible. Men. Yes, we mean you. Go to deepadventure.com and check out Bear's Man Cave, a men's only Facebook group. Join the pack with other men as they challenge and inspire one another to manly virtue. Plus, you can dialogue with us in our regular video chat meetups. Plus, get your exclusive content. Join at deepadventure.com. That's deepadventure.com. Aloha. Welcome back to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I'm your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak. Life is meant to be an adventure. If you're a Christian, you should expect to be on a great adventure. God is asking you to be bold, to be strong, to be, be faithful, to be prudent. Uh, we're talking with Dr. John Ertley today, kind of about all those things. We're talking about how to be prudent in the way you take care of the temple of the Holy Spirit, your body, and how to, uh, how to uh, help your body to be strong so that you can fulfill the mission that God has for you. I'm going to tell you, I know, I know this is strange, but Cindy and I, I we sit on, the, well, we walk along the beach or we go surfing, Yesterday we went for a walk and then a swim, and we're sitting next to the ocean, and we're watching people walk by. And you know, if you're into Plato and you understand forms, you know the the perfect forms. These people in Hawaii, they're in shape. You very rarely do you see someone walk by that is overweight or doesn't have a little bit of some muscle going on. Even the older people, the way they eat and and their lifestyle of being outdoors and exercising. And I'm just going to tell it like it is. You know, when when we we go to the mainland and we see the situation people are living in, it's it's shocking uh, how people have neglected and really abused their bodies. I saw something really funny on on the computer this morning. It was a bridge somewhere in Costa Rica. It's a, a walking footbridge across a, a narrow little gorge, and it says, be careful, capacity 10 people, unless you're American, then only three. And that wasn't a joke. That was, <clears throat> excuse me, that was as serious as could be. We need to take charge of our bodies so that we can live and fulfill the mission God has for us. It's not narcissistic to want to be strong and healthy and vibrant. It's a very necessary thing. In America, if there's one sin that, that I see in America, it's sloth and gluttony, and, and it's a, those are both mortal sins. We need to take the battle to the enemy and get ourselves half healthy. That's why you have Dr. John Ertley, the Chief Medical Officer of Solid, Solidarity Health Share, with us. So, Doc... Coming out of my, my pro, the prostate radiation that I went through, I was very concerned about uh, rebuilding my physical strength. Actually, what happened is I didn't lose any weight during my or gain any weight during my radiation treatment. But what happened is I lost about eight pounds of muscle, right? Mm -hmm. So then when I started working out again, I started gaining weight because I had I'd packed on fat to replace the muscle, and I was adding muscle to fat. So I'm in this process of trying to get physically healthy. Again, but one of the things my wife wanted to ask you about, because we know gut health has a lot to do with your immune system, and she talked to me about uh, leaky gut. What what is what is that, and what what do we need what do we need to do about that? Yeah, great question. So when leaky gut happens, essentially you have so much inflammation going on in your gut that the barriers that are usually intact start to be able to open up, and then your body starts all those the foods that are usually considered to be healthy that get broken down into to, uh, little pieces start to be able to go into those they're called gap junctions and when they go into the gap junctions your immune system starts to be able to recognize it as a foreign substance that it shouldn't be there and it starts to attack the very foods that you eat so literally you can be a, sensitive to over 15 different foods that you're currently eating and the foods that we eat start to cause inflammation where they shouldn't be causing inflammation to begin with. And so what do we do about that? So this is where I go back to my 4R protocol. Okay, remove let's talk the about offenses. that. Mm -hmm. I remove the things that are offending because that's maybe causing more inflammation. You go back to replacing it with the healthy things, good 
fatty acids, the, the fish oils, right? Your omega-3s, you produce good, healthy fiber. You want to be able to start having um, um, uh, fruits, vegetables, the things that are your body's going to naturally want to be able to do. Anti-inflammatory things that are herbs, the spices that are in our lives, rosemary, garlic, turmeric, uh, black cumin. These are the things that are are, are spices that many times Americans hate these spices because it's, you know, they're, they're, they like bland stuff, but these spices are incredibly anti-inflammatory. Um, and so even just when you're doing a steak, put it on a nice steak rub, enjoy it, right? With having a nice steak rub, when you're flavoring your, your vegetables, putting in some rosemary, some, it's not just salt and pepper, you know, stay away from over salting, but your spices are so much more than just pepper. <laughs> and so you want to be able to have that. That's nature's anti-inflammatory cabinet. Really? And I always say, hmm. oh, it's it's wonderful. The amount what of What would be the herbs, five or six main herbs and spices people should consider using? Well, I love garlic because of all the cardiovascular protection and the anti-inflammatory and it's anti-infectious um, uh, as well. I love ginger it works incredibly well to be able to help better digestion and it's very anti-inflammatory helps um, help build up the gut i love turmeric turmeric is the the orange golden spice um, and this is what is so anti-inflammatory but it's great for inflammatory conditions it's anti-infectious um, you name it it's what uh, turmeric does or the the molecule in that is curcumin you may mm -hmm. have heard curcumin in that um, rosemary is wonderful. I love the taste. I love to be able to actually, it's a strong herb. So culinarily you want, you want to control it, but it's a wonderful, um, uh, anti-inflammatory as well. Um, and so those are, uh, those are my handful of herbs that I would say well, are you know, just, I drink, I drink, uh, I drink kombucha, uh, so, with, okay, with, so with, awesome. with, with, with turmeric in it. Beautiful. You're getting a twofer. So my, my third R is called re-inoculate. That's the fermented material that you want to be able to actually start utilizing. So kombucha is a fermented and it has good healthy probiotics that are gonna be immune stimulating for the gut and anti-inflammatory, they help you to digest. So you can have other fermented things, kimchi, which is the sauerkraut of the Koreans. It's got the spiciness in it, mm -hmm. but it's an incredible taste. How about, regular, how, about, how about regular sauerkraut? Sauerkraut is amazing as well. Yeah, I, anything I was that's going to be fermented. I was talking to someone the other day. They said when they went to school in Germany, they'd give them uh -huh. a, they would give them sauerkraut every morning. The first thing they did when they walked in the door, they would get, a, they would get some sauerkraut. Like to I love help, it. Yeah. Well, it's, it's helping to help repopulate your gut with the good, healthy probiotics that are actually should be in the gut. You know, an easy way is just you know, putting uh, some onions. Have you ever done this? My wife does this. It's just absolutely incredible. Red onions, putting vinegar in the red onions and letting them ferment for about a week. Mm. And then you get these pickled onions. Oh, it's just are onions pickles are good? amazing P for pickles the are, Pickles are good too then? Pickles are great too. That's exactly right. Anything mm. that's going to be fermented. You know, even this is where usually we, when you talk about breads, kind of in the, the past, we used to use real sourdough starters to be able yeah. to actually ferment that. It broke down a lot of those proteins. It broke down the gluten so that our bodies could actually digest it better. And uh, now it, it's, we don't, we don't ferment enough. And this well, you is know, where I, the I, fermented I was, foods are wonderful for I, our gut. I, I, I always said, like when I used to go to, over to, the, to France to surf, uh, to compete over there, I, first time I went over there, I go, there I, go I, I never had bread before. Isn't that you the case? Yeah, it's I mean, not, that, it's not real bread. It's not what yeah. it used to be. Yeah. So sour, real sourdough bread that's pro properly uh, made is, uh, it, it, first of all, it isn't, it isn't all bleached out either. Is a good sourdough yeah. bread uh, better for you than a regular white bread? Is it is it still Absolutely. an issue with is it still an issue with gluten though? So if you if you have strong inflammation that's going on in the gut you might want to just take a period of time and just remove gluten entirely. Mm -hmm. But then if you can start to adapt into being able to have some of these better sources, um, again, these heritage grains that don't have mm -hmm. as much gluten, you can have, and that's what they are doing over in Europe as well. Mm -hmm. Again, the fermented with a true sourdough starter can be a lot better because it's already digesting a lot of that gluten. Mm. So it's not an overabundance. So we've gone through these R's. What are the four R's again? We've just, I know we got okay, more to remove, go. Remove, remove, remove gluten. What, what, what are the, the four the main junk, things? The, al 
removed alcohol, gluten, refined sh sugars, um, removing saturated and trans flats. Okay. Then you want to be able to replace it and replace it with good, healthy fiber foods, vegetables, fruits, nuts, good, a good omega a good, three fish oils, a the good, good steak, stuff. a good steak, a good steak. Yep. Mushrooms can be in that list as good things. Extra virgin olive oil is in that to be able garlic to re and replace it. And then spite the herbs, the ginger nature's medicine, turmeric and. And, and then, then you want to re-inoculate okay. re with re-inoculate yes. with your your good healthy probiotics, your fermented foods, and then you want to repair. Repair is the the last one. Okay, and how repair, do I do that? But a cast around my and stomach. That's, that's where all those are going to be helping. And then repair the herbs that are going to specifically repair. I think collagen is one of the best things because again, that lining of the stomach is a connective tissue. You want to start repairing it. So. Um, getting on a good um, beef collagen is a wonderful thing to be able to help reconnect that. Is that a, and taking the form of a of a of a of a pill powder, or usually a powder? It's powder. usually a powder, um, and you want to get it so that they're you know you don't want it to be filled with sugars or anything like that. Just a good uh, collagen powder is a wonderful thing. So we're talking with Dr. John Ertley. Uh, I love this guy. I've since the first 10 minutes of interviewing him the first time, I thought I got to have him as a regular on our show, because I think we get over spiritual sometimes and we just, we're almost like Gnostic. All we care about is our spirit and not our soul. But I can tell you, um, if you want to fulfill God's mission in your life, you need to be physically fit. You know, John, you wouldn't believe how many members of the man cave have lost 30, 40, 50, 60 pounds just by being in the cave, you know, because they know it's part of it, what it means to be a warrior. Dr. John Ertley is the chief medical officer with Solidarity. What's the website again? www.solidarityhealthshare.org. And our website is deepadventure.com. We'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak adventure. Right. Hey, man. I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Get your free stuff. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that little bell. Don't miss out. That's right. Deep Adventure Ministries is grateful to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for underwriting the Bear Wozniak Adventure on EWTN. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union provides car loans, mortgages, SBA loans, and depository accounts nationwide, as well as 24-hour support. Go to deepadventure.com to find their link or go to NotreDameFCU.com. Mahalo to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for making the Bear Wozniak Adventure possible. Mahalo for your Kokua in supporting us. Deep Adventure Ministries is grateful to you, our listeners, for supporting the Bear Wozniak Adventure radio show at deepadventure.com. We would not be able to bring you our radio show with its uniquely powerful and gritty outreach without your help. You can become part of our pack. You can support our ministry by going to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak or by just going to deepadventure.com and clicking on the Patreon link and become a part of our outreach. That's deepadventure.com. Once again, mahalo for your kokua. This is a warning. The Bear Wozniak adventure is dangerous. The radical change Bear challenges you to is not for wimps. Change this station now to a soft rock station before it's too late. You've been warned. Now, here is Bear Wozniak. Aloha. Welcome back to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. We want to encourage you to go to our website, deepadventure.com. Subscribe to our email newsletter. You get a free copy, a free audio version of my book, Deep Adventure, The Way of Heroic Virtue. We want you to go to YouTube and sign up for and become a subscriber because, man, every morning I get up uh, wherever I am in the world. It's usually by a beach. Sometimes it's in Ireland. Sometimes it's in Rome. Sometimes it's in, who knows, Greece or whatever, wherever we are on our pilgrimages. But uh, Or here in Hawaii. 
and I turn on the camera on Facebook Live, and then we send it up to YouTube, and we, we go through the entire catechism. We're going through our second journey. This is uh, uh, our fourth year of going through the ocean, through the catechism. So there's great stuff there. The, every time we finish one, we post it to our YouTube channel. We also have the Bear Wozniak Adventure radio show. We have well over 100 video versions of the show up on our website, and we have a lot of little fun things that Cindy and I do from time to time when we're, uh, when we're out in the sun. We just have just, just a great... It's, it's a really great uh, channel. We'd love for you to go there and subscribe to it, the Bear Wozniak on, uh, on YouTube. We're talking with Dr. John Ertley. He's one of the few people that is a returning guest on our show, and I just have such a high regard for, for him because he agrees with everything I say. No, I mean, because, because everything he says makes sense. And we talk about the physical health and vitality of our bodies. If you're going to fulfill God's mission in your life, you, you need to be, you know, your spirit, soul, and body. And it seems like in America... We just neglect and abuse our bodies. We need to be fit. I tell people how when I, when we cut, when we're here in Hawaii, it's almost looking at Plato's form of what a human body should look like. I'm not saying everybody's in great shape, but people are surfing, they're bicycling, they're hiking, they're eating a healthy regimen, and they look healthy. They're 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 you know. Uh, but when we go back to the mainland, it looks like the world went off the the ledge. People are not taking care of themselves. And so you know what they do? They die young or they live in lethargy and their, or their joints and their body breaks down and they're not able to fulfill God's mission. That's why you have Dr. John Ertley from Solidarity Health Show with us. Welcome back, John. Hey, it's great to be here. We're talking about a healthy gut, the healthy immune system. And what can you tell us those four R's again of, of a healthy gut? Yep. Remove, replace, re-inoculate, and repair. Okay. I want you to tell me each of those things just highlight those first few things one more time for us. What, is, what does it mean to be so remove? Yeah, you wanna remove the garbage, remove, you don't wanna have over alcohol. Um, you wanna have alcohol in moderation. You wanna remove things like gluten or other food sensitivities. You wanna be removing sugars, refined sugars, refined, just the processed starches. Preservatives. Get it out of um, any of the actual uh, saturated or trans fats. Um, the, those are going to be your margarine and things like that. Then you want to replace. Okay, number two is replace. You want to replace with the good, healthy things. So this is your good, high fiber foods. You know, vegetables, uh, fruit. You want to make sure that you're having good, healthy fish oils, omega threes. Your grass fed beef, your bison burgers. All of those are going to have high levels of omega three fatty acids. Very anti inflammatory. You want to put in, you know, mushrooms are great. Um, extra virgin olive oil is great. You want to put in uh, anti-inflammatory spices. That's turmeric, garlic, ginger, rosemary. Really have more, there's more spices than just salt and pepper. You want to remove the salt as well. But again, uh, there's more um, spices that we are really nature's, uh, God's medicine cabinet for us. Then we want to, the third is re-inoculate which means repopulate with the good, healthy probiotic bacteria that's in our guts. We do that by fermented foods, kombucha, uh, sauerkraut, pickles, kimchi, which is your Korean sauerkraut, right? Mm -hmm. um, Very all popular of this in Hawaii. is just wonderful for good, healthy repopulation of the good, healthy bacteria. And then fourth is repair, making sure that our nutrients are in the gut that are going to start repairing that lining of the GI tract. And so things like that, I was talking about collagen is a wonderful way to help repairing that gut lining. The other couple of nutrients that really work well, vitamin D, this is why getting out into the sun and enjoying that sun, it helps the repairing of the actual gut. We also, there's an amino acid called glutamine. Okay, glutamine. Glutamine is a is an amino acid that helps to repair that lining of the gut as well. So all of this is really to be able to help support the body to make sure that its immune system stays healthy because when the immune system is not battling the foods that you're putting in and not battling yourself, the immune system can stay focused, single targeted on, again, whether it's cancers or whether it's infections or um, keeping the body's inflammation at, a, at bay and really dealing with what it needs to be dealing with. Um, at the same time that your body's just staying this, keeping that inflammation at, at bay, keeps nutrients absorbing effectively so that your body can have the healthy nutrients just from our, our diet and what we're actually putting in, that instead of just 
um, keeping it in and then allowing it to clear on out, our bodies are actually able to break those foodstuffs down and absorb the nutrients that are in our foods that we're actually putting in the body. Well, so, well let me make let me make it personal, Doc. I, you know, I, I've we talked in the first segment how I'd just come through uh, two months of radiation and it really was tough. And but I, I but I, you know, so I, I realized okay, my my uh, gut health is down to zero which meant my immune system was down to zero. I got a staph infection. I just had to fight it and fight it and fight it. Uh, and so, but I would, I would wake up in the morning and, you know, I'd look at myself in the mirror and I wasn't happy. I'd gained weight. But as the day went on, my stomach would seem like it was just filled up like a, someone was pumping air into it. That's not the sign of a, that. W- w- let me put it this way. What are the signs of a gut that isn't healthy? And what is the signs of a gut that is healthy? That we can just hey, Signs of the observe. gut are any issues from when food enters into the mouth down the esophagus and the stomach, and as it comes out, is a bowel moving. Any signs or symptoms that are related to this, right? So you have acid reflux, you've got gas and bloating, you've got belching or flatulence, you have just a feeling of, uh, again, constipation or diarrhea or loose stools. You want to have a bowel movement every day. Other signs that may not be as directly associated with it are fatigue. If your gut is inflamed, you're going to have more fatigue. If you, your gut is inflamed, there's been a really strong connection between your mental health and your ability to have having positive mood. Um, other things like brain fraud, is your brain functioning effectively? Because that's the nutrients and energy needed to actually affect the actual how your brain functions. So those are things that seem a little bit removed from the actual gut itself, but they're strongly connected in the world of what research is actually finding. Yeah, you have that you have that morning fog that just never goes away. I know for myself, Doc, when I go through when I'm reading when I'm living my ketogenic lifestyle, which is the way I won my world titles and how I always trained in fitness, when I'm living that lifestyle, which is really pretty consistent with what your the four R's are. I uh, absolutely these things different things happen. I have a spring in my step. I I'm I'm very alert. I sleep really well. You know, yeah. it's like when you when you're at work. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say because all of that again, it's gonna be leading to getting that immune that gut in place leads to every other thing that starts to be able to come into place. Your energy starts picking up so that you can start to exercise. Right. You start to be able to actually sleep better because your hormones start to be able to be regulated more effectively right. and you're you're dropping weight because it's so many people are walking around with inflammatory weight. And mm. so you see when you start to be able to just have some of these anti-inflammatories your weight starts to drop immediately because you're holding on to fluid and you're reducing inflammation. And so you start to be able to actually just start that process to kickstart a healthy lifestyle so that you can remain vital so well, that so you're I, not just going down in a pit. My wife just came out of her room. She's doing her her abs, you know, and we, we, we train together so much, but you know, she, she's, she gets, she's in shape and, and, uh, and it's really great to have a training partner like that if you can get a husband and wife together to encourage each other, especially the husband and wife to be on the same eating regimen. It's so important. Women, if you care about your husbands, get yourself in shape because by doing that, in other words, at least in our house, I'm not a good cook. In our house, my wife is an incredible cook, an incredible cook, and but healthy. She cooks us healthy, healthy meals. And so that's a good part. Whoever is the main cook in the house uh, kind of sneak it sneakily get rid of some of that gluten and replace it with something else and and start uh, you know like my wife knows in the morning I'm up early I'm doing my ocean sunrise catechism I had I'm on my second cup of coffee she'll slide a, a bottle of kombucha to me you know that she just kind of sli- slides it in there but why don't you guys make it like a fun thing for a you know for a husband and wife to do together to you know if, if you one of the very very basic things you can do is you can get one of these fitness things that's $26 watch that tells you, and, and get your 10,000 steps a day. You know, if you can't do 10,000, do 4,000 today, 4,050 tomorrow, 4,100 the next day. But start moving your body. I also noticed, Doc, when I came out of the radiation treatment is that um, as I was able to move my body more, things loosened up in my gut more, too. It was like being in the ocean and doing physical exercise. That also had a positive effect on my gut. We're already, we're already out of time. That's why we have you back every couple, of, every You're every right. six months. Doc, where can people find you, Doctor John Ertley? They can find they you can at. Find me. They can find Solidarity at www.solidarityhealthshare.org. 
for my medical practice, they can also find me at invita.com. What does invita mean anyway? Invita.com. In life. Spell it again. How do you spell it? E N V I T A. Dot com. In life. Dr. John Hartley. In I, life. Yeah, in life. Uh, we just love having you on the show, and I just want to encourage people, if you're just tuning in, go to the Bear Wozniak YouTube channel and, and subscribe and ring that little bell. Get this get this to your friends and your family, because we start out the first thing we're talking about the prostate radiation treatment that I just went through. But And then as a byproduct of that, we're talking about all the things that people need to be doing anyway as far as uh, how to avoid prostate, but also how to have a healthy gut, a healthy immune system. This is the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Until next week, may the breath of the Holy Spirit aloha you. Aloha. Hey, man. I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Get your free stuff. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that little bell. Don't miss out.